I'd never seen an orange-bellied parrot outside captivity until there was five over on the box on bush. Orange-bellied parrots are really special because they're one of very few parrots that migrate. So they breed in remote Tasmania in the southwest corner in the summer and then in autumn they fly north to spend winter along the coast of Victoria and South Australia. So there's very few parrots with that way of living and I think they're really special because of that. It is a big flight for these little parrots. They're, you know, they only weigh 45 grams or so and they're undertaking a flight that's probably in the order of you know, 700 kilometres in each direction. They are a beautiful, stunning parrot, and uh, yeah, I just love the grassy green colour of them. Orange-bellied parrots are critically endangered. At their lowest numbers, in 2017, there were only three females left in the wild. So one of the key problems for orange-bellied parrots is that they have really low survival rate, particularly of the juveniles, and we're really not sure why. And until we can really address that, then it's going to be very hard to have a sustainable recovery of the species. So we just got some new arrivals from Tasmania. So we've got eight birds that we're just putting into the aviaries. They're generally in the aviary between six to eight days, just so they can get familiar with the area and settle also before we release them. Trying to understand where they go and what's happening to them so we can help them is a really key knowledge gap. The release today is actually primarily around testing some tracking equipment that we're using because we're trying to understand the movements of orange-bellied parrots better, trying to understand the habitat that's important to them and that way we can sort of start to work at improving some of the conservation management actions that we're engaged in. The orange-bellied parrot mainland release project takes a great deal of people and organisations working together to pull all those moving parts together to have a successful project. So uh, the major partners in the project are DELP, Zoos Victoria, Moonlit Sanctuary, Karangamite CMA and BirdLife Australia. But there's many other organisations and individuals that all pull together to make this happen. My daughter won't let me sell it. She said it's to stay like it is as long as she has it, but she hasn't got any children, so there will probably be a covenant put on part of it to uh, keep it. Today we have released 12 orange-bellied parrots at Lake Connawari. They're the first of 36 orange-bellied parrots that we're releasing into Victorian winter habitat this year. For many years, landholders in this Lake Connawari system have been doing their part to help the orange-bellied parrot by protecting their habitat and allowing surveys to occur on their land. Now that we're releasing birds at Lake Connawari, some of those landholders are really stepping up, hosting release aviaries on their property, having tracking towers on their property, and giving us the access we need to help these birds. So we're very grateful for their support. Yeah, just really excited to be involved in real life conservation, like you, you live your whole life thinking, oh wow, I'd love to be involved in that. And it's just, yeah, it just sort of happened in the last 20 years or so and just evolved and now I'm involved in this really exciting stuff and it's, it's fantastic. We're on the verge of extinction, they were. And I like to think I did a little bit to help that 